If you have never had biscotti in your coffee, grab this one. Or apparently they have a Christmas one. I've yet to grab that one. Soak it in there for just a second. I have one every single morning with my coffee. They're little. So, so good. Happy Monday, everybody. Ready? to show you what I just did to my hair from a flipping 19.99 hot tools that I found at TJ Maxx. You know when you're at TJ Maxx and they have all of the different hair care tools and you're like, is it really too good to be true? Focus, focus, focus. It did a really good job. I always get scared when I do this to my hair because I don't want it to look too permy, but I love the way that these relax day two, day three, and my hair literally completely died from the curls I did yesterday. So I was like, let's do this. And I had to film some content today. So I'm like, let's do like spicy, fun, and sassy. That's what it looks like. I'll see if I can find a link on Amazon or something. Hopefully it's not more than $19.99, but it just has a little lock button here. The only thing I will say about this curling method was my hand got really tired really quickly because you have to hold it each time. I can't tell how hot it was. I don't think. How hot it gets which kind of scares me a little bit because you don't want to like fry your hair off i think it did a really good job let me see what the back looks like hopefully it doesn't look too shabby i don't know something different something different i'm gonna give you guys a little update so it's monday had a little unexpectedness this morning with my little bubba guy i'll actually sit down and talk about him i told Instagram this and I have people essentially diagnosing my dog with heart failure which I know when you come on social media and you talk about stuff like that it's bound to happen he has had this little cough 24 ish hours um and just wasn't normal I wasn't sure if it was kennel cough or something so this morning I took him in uh and she saw him and per physical exam obviously just I watched her listen to his heart listen to his lungs you know, feel his lymph nodes, all his stuff. And he just got blood work done two weeks ago and everything looked good. So she's like, you know, maybe it's allergies. It could be the weather change. So I'm just keeping an eye on it. She gave me some cough medicine, but we did that this morning. My Jeep wouldn't start this morning. And I went out, it, it worked. And then I went out again and it doesn't. So I need to figure out what's going on with that. That's kind of what our Monday is looking like. I have some packages to unbox. I need to wrap some presents. I need to edit a TikTok and then I'm gonna run and grab some ribbon. I told you guys I was gonna go to Hobby Lobby today and then I will film that for YouTube tonight and I think I'm gonna do a reel too for Instagram because people are really curious about wrapping presents and the bows, which I get it. I flipping love doing it. It's so much fun. Prayers for my Bubba. Hopefully it's nothing and he's gonna be okay. He is quite literally my entire life. Um, if you've been here a while, you know that. I'm trying to get him to rest a little bit and stay away from Collins because, I mean, she's a baby. She doesn't know and she wants to play. And obviously, if he has a cold or a cough or something or kennel cough, she, that's the thing is she's not coughing at all. It's going to keep a really close eye on him. Really close eye on him. Hopefully, it's nothing. 1999 girls. Are you kidding me? Very, very dark in here. Uh, I'm filling up my second half gallon of the day. I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby. I'm going to take you guys with me. Kaiser seems to be doing good. He wants to eat and play, which is a good sign. The cough is just horrendous. Still keeping an eye on him. I was going to take him with me. With her being in her crate, because I do crate Collins when I leave, just because she gets into absolutely everything and loves to eat anything that she can uh he'll be able to rest and i have cameras all throughout my house so i'll just watch him and it'll notify me if something happens so that makes me feel a little bit better so he can rest for a little bit it's literally dark and it's uh 5 30. we love that but it's the holiday season it's kind of fun to go shopping at night my mom and i used to do it when i would go to we drop my little brother off at like confirmation on wednesday nights and my mom and i would go shop it's kind of fun at night and there's not as many people here we go So, looking at some of their paper, these are pretty. I like this print. I like this one. There's summer in here, but I definitely want more. If you're looking for tags, I am in love with all of these. Like, these are super pretty. Those ones, I really like these little Santa hats. Let me see, I might get a couple of those. It's a 12 count for $2.99. Okay, these. Yes. 
look how cute these are for presents to put them on top. So this one says Mary and Joy. So two of each. I'm gonna grab two of those. What else? Double sided. We got that double sided. These are perfect for your mirrors. I'm gonna grab this one for my front mirror. They're really tiny and you can just grab suction cups to put them on. I also really like this one. Tries to focus. I like this one. Maybe you know this or maybe you don't, but they always have really cute crock pots. So if you're doing like um, holiday somewhat get together, I actually have two plaid ones that I got here last year. Like they're cute. Excuse me. And I already have one. I think mine's from Target. But they have cute little tree cutting boards. They're fun to put on like your backsplash. I don't know if it's my Hobby Lobby or just in general, but they really don't have a great selection here for ribbon. I'm gonna show you. Not very much, but these are kind of fun. I don't think I looked at Target very in depth. I'm trying to think of where else to look for ribbon. Yeah, say. Uh, I did not realize that Hobby Lobby was having a 70% off sale. Every single line, there was approximately, you no, know, four or five lines. Every single line was literally all the way to like the back of the store. So I just waited for like 25 minutes. I'm like, what's going on? She's like, everything is 70% off. I'm like, oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna make one of my little zucchini bars. I'll put the recipe down in the description of where I got it, but this is what they look like. I just keep them refrigerated. So I'm gonna take one. They look like this. Focus, maybe it won't. And I just kind of split it a little bit and then I'm gonna heat it up for like 30 seconds. Uh, also, so I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna top it with this peanut butter. This is by far the best protein peanut butter I've ever had in my entire life. Uh, it's a small little business. My friend Alyssa actually got me hooked on this and these bars. So she did give me, I have a little commission discount code with this brand, Cocoa in a Jar, Cocoa Bar in a Jar. Uh, it's just Holly Gabrielle, I believe, to get 10% off. This is my second one I'm opening. I know you hear it, but it is so delicious. I'm going to douse this bar in it. Do I think one serving is like an ounce or something. If you keep it stirred up, oh my gosh, it's so good. I think you guys are gonna get to hear Kaisi's cough. <coughs> I personally really like to have a few different wrapping papers. So I'll show you guys the ones that I have under my tree. And then I kind of showed you what I got at Hobby Lobby. I'll show you my little bucket. I have a little tote that I just am keeping everything in. My dogs are very involved. I showed you guys these. I got the Mary and Joy to put on the presents. I'm gonna add those in. Hey, hey. And that I got from Walmart last night. We got some double-sided tape, you guys. Kaiser K. So, Kaisy, I know you don't feel good, Bubba, but <laughs> this is going well. Hi, it's not for you, Bub. This isn't working out, so I'm gonna have to wait. My dogs are the type of dogs that if you're down on their level, it's over. You have, you have officially like made it known that you're down on their level and they want to play. I got this wrapping paper last year. This one says like, I think it, honestly, I think it says happy holidays on it. Really, really pretty. It's a white, kind of goes with everything. This one is also from, no, this one's from TJ Maxx. I need to look there tomorrow too because Hobby Lobby had nothing for wrapping paper that I liked, but I really liked this. Okay, they did, but I didn't, I didn't feel like I wanted to get something similar to this. I wanted kind of maybe like a black or something. And I had a Santa wrapping paper and the Santa wrapping paper is strictly for presents from Santa because my mom did that growing up. And despite the fact that we're all adults here, I need Santa paper and those presents are gonna be put out on Christmas morning because I have a few for each of my family members that I'm gonna do that for. Plus stockings and stuff. I got little name tag things. Maybe I'll show that in the next video. I got little uh, letters for each stocking. So it'll have, you know, each person's first initial on it. And they're really, really tiny. Oh, and I, t I told you guys about the 70% off sale at Hobby Lobby. They were probably, if they were $2.99, yeah, you do the math. They were very inexpensive, so.
I'm gonna wait for Collins to go to bed and I'll show you guys how I do a bow. Let's do it. So I'm gonna show you a bow. I can show you how I wrap a present, but honestly, there's probably a better tutorial out there versus mine because I just literally had to look up the other night how to wrap a present again and it all came back to me really quick of how I personally like to do it. Just kind of like riding a bike when you don't do it for a while. Like I said, this is all of my ribbon stuff, keeping it in here. Little things to put on presents and everything. You can look at it right here, bud. Because he is here to assist. A really fun bow on a big present like this one. So there's lots of different ways you can do bows. This is personally the bow that I think is the prettiest and coolest and just looks really, really good. So I'm gonna pick this ribbon right here. This one is a little bit see-through and it's gonna go on this present and look fab. It's gonna look fabulous, Kaiser. Let's do this little shindig. So to start, I'm gonna go all the way around. I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm gonna start in the front here. And I'm gonna go around. Ooh, this is already twirling. This is gonna be good. Here is just about how much I have left on the front here. And I'm gonna go over and hold it like this. And we're gonna go under it. Push that back. Come back over so that it meets. And this is kind of thicker, so I'm gonna twist it just like perfectly here so that it's flat. Does that make sense? You can kind of maneuver the ribbon how you want, but I want it to be flat. And we're gonna pull it really, really tight like that. Now that I have that, and it's kind of gonna sit more at the top because the bow that we're gonna make is massive and it's going to be excessive. I'm gonna cut right here and you don't need it to be super big. Honestly, this is a little bit too much at the top. I might backtrack it just a little bit. Here we are, now that we are all the way around. Hopefully that was easy to see. I can kind of backtrack it if you guys want to look again, but you're coming around. This was obviously starting in the front and then you bring this. So pull that tight and the ribbon in the back comes up like that. But what I'm saying is, is you can kind of maneuver the ribbon to make sure that it lays flat so that it doesn't, you know, if I pull super tight, doesn't look sloppy like that. So just kind of pull it how you want it to be and pull this tight. And then I'm going to cut about like this right here, just so we can make this tight. Not super worried about what this is gonna look like as I tie it because we're going to do that big giant bow on top of it. So once you get it all the way around, I'm gonna twist mine a little bit like that because I want it to be tight. And again, make sure that it looks smooth. This is what that's gonna look like, pretty on all sides. And then in the back, that's what it'll look like on the back. Can you see that? Okay. We have our little connection here. I'm gonna go ahead and make this really, really tight and make a little knot here. And we're gonna tie it tight, just like that. Now you're gonna have these little extra pieces and I just personally fold mine like this or you can fold it over if you want to and you can use double-sided tape or whatever you have. But either way, like your, your giant bow is gonna go right on top of that. So all right, now I'm gonna teach you how to make the bow. This is why I say that it requires a lot of ribbon. This one right here is 30 feet of ribbon, so that's pretty good. There's a couple different ways to do this. Please don't judge the way that I do it. This is just what's worked for me, and I really, I don't know, it just has been easy, but I'm sure there's probably a better, easier way to do it. I also use this, so you need some sort of securing agent and I just use twine but I also use the twine on my presents so it kind of works out. Just keep that handy. You're gonna decide how big you want your actual bow to be, how many loops you want, all of those different things. But I like to do it like this. I start on this end of the present and we're gonna go one like this and you're gonna go across again. Two, three, four, We're gonna do five and see how this looks because this bow is pretty, or this ribbon's pretty big, so I think it's gonna be a pretty voluminous present. 
All right, we did about five loops. So what you're gonna do next is you're actually going to take it like this, and this is gonna determine kind of how big you want that bow to be. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna you're gonna congest it in the middle, and then these are gonna be your loops. So that kind of determines how big you want it. I want these loops to be huge. So we're gonna go like right here, and I'm gonna line it up just kind of because I have that there to see. I'm gonna line it up with that little square right there. So then you're gonna pull this ribbon around until you kind of meet in the middle. And then once you do, you're gonna pull it down like so. And I'm gonna kind of crunch mine in so you kind of have a bow sitting here like that. And that's when your twine is gonna come in. You could also use pipe cleaner, whatever you have. I just have a lot of twine, so that's what I'm gonna utilize. And it just looks the prettiest to me. So take your twine and you're gonna tie a little knot around it. I'm just gonna go under here like so. And you can kind of see where I'm at with this. But I'm gonna tie these pieces together. Again, don't worry about like the messiness of that. I promise you're not gonna be able to see it. I'm gonna cut my twine and we're gonna do a couple more knots. So here I just have my one knot. Obviously it's not super secure, so you're gonna wanna tie it a few times. That's why I say like it depends on what you wanna use. I, this has just worked well for me. I'm gonna tie that knot really tight and I'm gonna do it again. Okay, you can cut that. And I'm gonna cut this little trim off. Okay. Now you have what this looks like is almost a hair bow or something like that. Here's the side I tied it. I'm actually gonna flip, so it's a little bit cleaner right here. Next thing you're gonna do is secure the bow. So again, it can go here, it can go like that, wherever you wanna go, we're gonna move those loops around. So I'm gonna go right here with that, and I'm gonna take my twine again. And I'm actually just gonna cut this piece because I don't need to necessarily be extra savvy with maneuvering. This is just easier. Cut whatever you think because just enough to get it underneath right here to go all the way around to secure the bow. Go underneath everything. And we're gonna pull it together here and secure it. Just tying a big old knot. Sometimes it helps if you have a helper to hold that down for you to kind of keep it super tight in the center. And then we're gonna pull that through, tie that knot, and you're good to go. Cut these off. Here is your present with your bow on it. I don't wanna leave it like that, so we're going to go ahead and open up these loops. So the wire ribbon, this is where it's super important and fun. You're gonna start pulling them apart and kind of maneuvering them how you want. And I actually lied about how many loops by going back and forth. It's actually not determined by that. It's determined by how many times you wrap. So I only did this one four, but it's perfectly fine with me because it is a huge, beautiful bow that's gonna look super pretty on here. And, oh my gosh, it's so voluminous and beautiful. And there she is. She is a huge, beautiful, voluminous bow that is gonna look so pretty. I'll put it under the tree just so you guys can kind of see it. But do you understand, I hope you guys, it kind of makes sense how to do it. You can literally do this with any sort of wire ribbon you want. You can do 87 loops if you want to. Having an extra securing agent to put that down for you and double-sided tape is gonna make your life so much easier. And the variant of bows you can make with this is unreal. I flipping love this one. some of this day and I haven't talked at all. I'm just gonna show you guys what we have done. The peanut butter star cookies. And these are the cranberry bliss bars. They're done. I'm gonna add the frosting and 
top them, making a Christmas crack. Peanut clusters, is that what we're calling them? Yep. Peanut clusters. <laughs> Oreo balls, puppy chow, lots of messes. Shelly and Mackenzie are doing the pretzels. The tedious. Okay, so these are Little Debbie cake balls. We just need to frost them. They're not actually the Little Debbie ones because I can't find them anywhere, but this is the Christmas crack that is one of my most favorite things. I'll tag everything here for you guys, but we have lots of stuff kind of drying. We need to dip a lot of them. It's underway. Are you joking? No. Oh my god. 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 O